Hey guys, I'm back. Alex Seven off the rock side, I'm back. Excuse the uh the intro that I fucked up. It's time to do the second album review in a day. I know I'm on a roll, this is crazy. Um Yeah, I can do reviews like this, it's a lot easier and it doesn't feel like a burden. Editing feels like a burden. Yeah, I'm sorry I gave you guys the option to ask me to edit because I really hate doing it. But if I have time I'll do it. But alright, anyway, I'm reviewing the Vines Melodia or Melodia, however you pronounce it. Um, this is the Vines fourth album. Uh, the Vines are an Australian sort of post punk group, um, following in the footsteps of like the Libertines, the Strokes, early two thousands, all that shit. But they 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 take it a step further. They're a little more wild. Uh, their live shows were supposed to be very raucous. Um, and, you know, the lead singer has Asperger's Syndrome, and he had a lot of trouble dealing with that. But they never really, after a brilliant first album, they never really could follow it up, like so many of the bands for, that got famous around the 2000 to 2002 period. Um, this is their fourth album. And on this album, they add a lot more balladry to their, uh, to their songwriting. You know, it's not just all songs like the one that's playing right now. Um, it's not wild freakout songs the whole time. There is a lot of, uh, you know, balladry, slower songs. I do, I do quite enjoy that. I think um, their songwriting has improved as a band, and the instrumentation is very good. They can show their, their, you know, sort of admiration for other bands and their influences without ripping off of them, which I think is very good. Um, however, on this album, not all of it is perfect. Um, the spacing isn't great. It, it, it doesn't give you enough time between the hard rockers and the ballads and it gets a little predictable um and what i mean by it doesn't give you enough time is it's just the order there will always be two ballads in a row and then sort of like two rockers in a row and it gets very predictable um also it seems like the rock songs on here are just there because that's sort of their reputation to do that style of song they seem, uh, besides a few exceptions, they seem to be sort of just going through the motions on these songs. They still bring a lot of energy to it, but it just doesn't seem quite as original or as creative as it was on albums like Highly Evolved, even on Vision Valley and stuff like that. Um, but it, it's interesting that they're going as, a, uh, as you know, as a band, how, what they've turned into. And there is one brilliant song in the middle here called... Uh, well, She Has the Night, which is this six-minute song that splits the album in half, that has perfect timing, um, and, it, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful piece of music, probably the best song on this album. Um, but it seems like they almost wanted to write a bunch of ballads, and then were just like, all right, we have to throw in some, some hard rockers because that's what's expected from us. Um, also, the album is too short to allow the ballads to sink in. It's like they could never decide what they actually wanted to do. Um, they should have added some more other songs that I think if they had experimented further it would have gotten better. Um, but, alas, it was not to be. Um, I can give this album a 6 out of 10, a fun listen, not all the way there. I'll see you guys later.